Welcome to Forensics Detectives. I am Dr. Cos. You guys made a gas detect, and today I'm your styrene gas detector. Styrene, folks, C8H8. You guys probably haven't heard of styrene, but I'm sure you've heard of polystyrene. Polystyrene plastics or po polystyrene cups, those foam cups that we often use for coffee or tea. Check it out, folks. A gas detector to detect toxic styrene that's right styrene monomer that's used to make polystyrene is a toxic gas and it off gases from its liquid phase so if you're in the business of making polystyrene or research and development using styrene then you want to make sure that you and your employees your co-workers are safe from inhaling toxic styrene gas folks that's the way it works and the only way you can be safe is by making sure you are continuously detecting styrene in your environment in your indoor workspace now check it out this is a styrene gas detector as i have already mentioned the gas sensor that detects styrene is right over there and you're presented with the ppm concentration of styrene folks osha has a recommended exposure limit for styrene at 100 parts per million niosh has it at 50 parts per million so this gas detector takes care of that range it detects from zero up to 100 parts per million and you could set the alarm threshold where you like you may want to set it at 20 parts per million you don't want to go up to the OSHA limit you want to be much more conservative and be alarmed much earlier to make sure your people are really 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 safe so that's the way it works folks the alarms are adjustable or you could keep them at 100 you could keep them at 50 keep them at 20 that is up to you now how does it work folks obviously the gas molecules are in the air as we're sampling this guy can be on your chest it could be on your belt clip or you can hold it on your hand walk around your facility slowly and take air quality measurements folks the gas molecules diffuse onto the sensor at the front right over there and then it presents you with the concentration of styrene that it has detected. That's the way it works, folks. It's pretty simple. The sensor lasts for three years, folks. And we recommend annual calibration. You could do it yourself or you could send it back to us for the calibration service. It has a very large battery. It's USB recharge that lasts up to three days. And charging takes only about four hours or so, folks. So let's go, Dr. Cos. How does it work? Oh, look. I've got a bottle of hydrocarbon styrene right over here. Now, what am I doing? I've got this calibration cap. It comes with the unit when you purchase it, and it's made to deliver gas directly onto the sensor from a gas bottle like we have right over here or from a pump to deliver the air directly onto the sensor. That's the way it works, folks. Now, as you could see, we're in some clean air, and that's why it's showing zero parts per million. We're going to start delivering some gas to the unit. It takes several seconds for it to start registering and you could see the front display over here now it has a backlight um, and as it's increasing it's going to trigger the alarms at 10 parts per million bang that's the way it works folks so you could see it reacts very fast and efficient let me just mute that very fast and efficient to the styrene gas now look there's a vibration it's vibrating so if, if I'm in a very noisy environment i could feel it on my body or if it's dark i could also feel it and hear it the buzzer and we had the led so we have three modes of alarming which is extremely extremely recommended and he obviously he makes it a much safer product that's the way it works now look 30-day money-back guarantee and one-year warranty so there is no risk to oh who's forensics detectives oh, i don't I don't trust that Dr. Cos guy. He's a little bit weird and too hyper. No, folks, there's no risk on your part whatsoever. So not a problem. Any questions, email us or give us a call. Till then, be well, be safe, and see you soon.